When I wake up in the morning, when the sun comes out to shine, I'm feeling fancy, I'm feeling fine, I'm watching the time at nine. All right, here we go, number nine. If you're looking for a safe, fun, and effective workout, have you considered hula hooping? A well, hula hooping may have started as a toy for children. I say it's a quality, low-impact exercise for people of all ages. It makes it take some trial and error to get the uh, right technique down, but once you get it going, your hips and your core muscles will be the envy of your book club. As far as a workout time goes, 30 minutes of hooping should get the job done. But for beginners, I say uh, start slow and then build up. That's yeah. always a good strategy. Yeah. I never have been able to keep the hula hoop up. Really? I tried in my it's youth. It's, yeah. it's not, you have to mm. have the right. Well, don't give up yet. I... Yeah. Listen, you're in the winter season of life. You, <laughs> yeah. you may be able to this swing it differently. Yeah. 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 Find a coach, do it for sweeps, yeah. Yeah. do a whole. You know, Maybe you and Mr. Yeah. S can join a club and do it together. Yeah, it you be. can do a doubles hula hoop. Two of you inside of one big hoop. <laughs> All right. Stay focused. <laughs> Number eight. The French government is pouring millions of bottles of wine out. Throwing huh. them out. Wow. Because they have too much wine. The what? move is an effort to stop prices from collapsing so winemakers can turn a profit again. So That's far, sad. France has spent around 200 million euros getting rid of the excess supply with red wine taking the hardest hit. Also, a lot of the wine is being converted into sanitizing gels and biofuel products. Ooh. Despite an increase in production, wine consumption is down as a whole across Europe. Yeah. Germany is leading the charge, uh, dropping 22% in wine consumption. That's drinking the wine in Germany. Mm. However, there is one wine which continues to be on the rise. Insiders say rosé sales are up 26% year on year. Wow. Rosé all day, you know, that's what they say. Yeah, yeah. you have that sign in your, yeah. in your yeah. house, right? In your bumper sticker. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, number seven, a former McDonald's chef has revealed the worst time to grab a bite there. And it happens to be at 10.30 a.m. when McDonald's uh. shifts from breakfast to lunch. Uh. The former chef says this changing of the guards involves many moving parts and causes a lot of issues within the restaurant. He says the reason uh, for this is because both menus use the same equipment uh. to cook the food. Hmm. We're calling them chefs now, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> Number six, a prehistoric bird previously declared in... Extinct? I think it's supposed to be extinct. It has resurfaced and is growing in population with the help of experts. Mm. It's the Taki birds of New Zealand. Look at that. In 1948, conservationists discovered a small population of the birds. Today, the population has grown to 500 and continues to increase. Hello. Researchers focused on collecting and incubating Taki eggs. Workers uh, wore sock puppets that resembled the unique <laughs> red beaks of the birds to feed and nurture the hatched eggs. <laughs> Conservationists hope to release another seven of the Taki birds in October. Mm. That almost looks fake, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, the feathers there. But you brought it to life with that voice. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering also, is yeah. that like real video that it they is. happen to catch her mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. saying hello also? Mm -hmm. Good stuff. All right, uh, number five already. Some people can't live without them, while others just plain can't do it. We're talking about naps. Oh, good, good nap video here. According to a Pew Research Center, a third of adults manage to fit in a nap on a typical day. Sleep experts say napping can provide a bit of rest in the middle of the day. However, a lot of the perks of napping are in line with the benefits of getting enough sleep on a regular basis. As far as naps uh, duration goes, experts say the sweet spot is 15 to 30 minutes. Anything longer, your body can enter into the slow wave sleep, which can make you feel drowsy afterwards, mm -hmm. so be very careful. All right, number four, Generation Z once again has older generations scratching their heads. This time over a recent survey of more than 1,000 Gen Z adults, which mm -hmm. found 71% of them are unaware of the risks associated with sunburn. The survey also found that 20% of Gen Z adults reported getting tan is more important to them than preventing skin cancer. 30% admitted that it's worth looking great now, even if it means looking worse later in life. Sure. <laughs> Dermatologists say this logic could cause premature aging and of course raises the risk of developing skin cancer. 
Mm. Yeah, but what you don't realize at 20 is how fast 50 is coming. Oh. So, TikTok. Mm. <laughs> they do like the TikTok. Yeah. So it's good that you made that connection. Yeah. 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 Uh, number three, working out barefoot has become popular oh, among some fitness enthusiasts oh. who say the practice increases foot strength, mobility, uh, and balance. It also increases broken toes. Uh, according to experts, these benefits may exist, but there are also some risks associated with working out barefoot, again, including the possibility of injury or infection. Mm. They say people should start slowly if they want to give it a try. And if you have a pre-existing injury or condition, you'll want to keep athletic footwear on or consider minimalist shoes that provide less support but still allows for a natural feel. Well, I appreciate nice feet, that banner yeah. covering the feet yeah. there. Yeah, that is nice. just for you. Number two, according to a study published in the Journal of Business and Psychology, oversharing on social media negatively impacts employers' perceptions of applicants. Oh, yeah, that's true. They might end up thinking that a person is a little emotionally unstable and less conscientious. In the study, participants who saw a LinkedIn post about mental health challenges were more likely to have a dismissive opinion or concerns about them. They conclude that people who do hiring should be aware that doing searches and learning about applicants will color their perceptions even subconsciously. Hmm. All right, number one, here's a really good commercial from 2003. It's the director, Martin Scorsese, at a one-hour photo place. Check it out. It's been an hour. It's under S. Under S. Oh. 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 How could I have done this? It doesn't make any sense. Look at it. There's no life to it at all. <laughs> oh, and if you say cheese, good direction, Marty. Here, this one, interesting, it's far too nostalgic. <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty. Composition is forced, lighting is bad, angle is off. Too literal, too violent, too metaphorical, too dark. Here, we have the protagonist, <laughs> but where's the antagonist? Huh? Where's the drama? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Unavoidable. Got to reshoot. <laughs> <laughs> now, Timmy, it's your Uncle Marty. How'd you like to turn five again? <laughs> That's good. That's, That's pretty good. good. Yes, yes. I know I That's the night at nine. I'm watching the nine at nine.